Yo, it's hot comedian boy summer. Um, if you're in California, please come to see our shows. We're funny in real life, I promise you. Um, in Los Angeles, Fumi is running a show called Foreigner, a stand-up comedy show. It's at the Virgil in Los Angeles, June 20th at 7 p.m. June 20th at 7 p.m. Tickets available uh, in the episode description. Or Google Foreigner, a stand-up comedy show. In San Francisco, Mike will be at The Setup June 22nd. Ticket link in this episode description or Google The Setup Comedy Show San Francisco. Or go to our website, asiannotasianpod.com. Come out, say hi, have a laugh. It'll be great. Okay, we love you. Bye. Like if, if you're going through something, like who are the homies you could like text? Right. Where yeah. they're just going to be like... Yo, I just need you to listen to some shit yeah, just that like I'm invent. going through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I know you don't have any answers and shit, but I just want to like. I just need, a, I just needed someone to listen to. Me. Right. Boom. It is the Asian Not Asian podcast, the podcast with all of your favorite Asian friends. It's just me, Mike Nguyen, your uh, Asian dad. Um, <laughs> I'm the only one here because uh, it's raining and hilariously, Jenny has to run uh, a marathon or she ran it. It's already done. I texted her already. She is done. She's home. She finished, I think, the half marathon. Uh, but hilariously, it is raining. It's been raining. So she had to run in the rain. Uh, but, uh, you know, she's resting. She's like sitting in ice or whatever it is. Um, people do whenever they do that. And uh, we're, we'll, she'll be back soon. She'll be back real soon. She misses you guys. And we miss her. I'm a little distracted because some real gangster shit's happening in front of me. But I guess it's like bring all this shit out. And I, you know what? I'm just going to have to bring them on because... I'll, oh, hold on here. This is my show, okay? I am a professional talker. I could do this by myself. I really could. Um... It wouldn't be pleasant for everybody, but it, I could do it, you know? I could totally just, just be by myself. But I want to bring on my guests because I've been really looking forward to having them on. They're really, they're just like, you know, we, we've been having a, the, we had a lot of great guests for Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander Month, Heritage Month, and it was great. And, those, and, and having really smart guests like that, it's like, you're having a delicious Michelin star meal. You know, you're getting all this texture. You're like learning things. You're like discovering shit. Sometimes though, you just want to eat a greasy hamburger with a bunch of Bud Light. And that's what having these two guys are. Okay, these two guys, it's going to be a little different vibe. It's going to be fun, I promise. Um, but uh, it, I've been really looking forward to it. Uh, to just introduce them. They're two bros, lifelong friends. Uh, they'll tell you first and foremost that they're two guys from Queens, uh, and uh, they're also comedians. Uh, it's Ben An and Ling Ji He from Worst Asian Podcast. Yo. <laughs> uh, Mike, are you distracted by what's going on at the table right now? You, you, did, you didn't mention before when we were like uh, texting back and forth, like, oh, uh, are you guys have any food allergies, or blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I for completely forgot that, that, you, that you had said that, because yeah. I was like, oh, uh, maybe you're going to be bringing food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're getting food out. Yeah. And I'm loving it because... Where is this from? Is this from... H Mart? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go to H Mart, I make the sound. I make the... the oh, fucking, when you walk in, sound. as soon as the doors open, you're like, bah, bah, bah. That's my clubbing. Oh, all right. All right. I go to Club all H Mart. Right. <laughs> Club H Mart. It's the same fucking thing. I spend about the same amount of money. <laughs> It's like bottle service. Like, nah, give me that kimchi. Yeah, no, I don't need that shit. Yeah. I need, I need the fucking Asian pair. Yeah, thank you for the intro, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for ha having us on. I, yeah. uh, I hope it's cool that I called you guys greasy hamburgers. I love that. That was a great analogy. Uh, Bud Lights. And Bud Light. That was the part that caught me off guard because is there an Asian equivalent of Bud Light? I guess it's height. Height. Oh. Dude, I should have said height. Hey. I have said height. Missed opportunity right there. Or like um, oh, what's the one that's in Korea? The Cloud? O Oban? Cloud, yeah. Cloud. cloud. I like Cloud. Oh, you like, yeah, you do drink. Yeah, look I at do. you, man. I know. Yeah, I that, do. Cute. That stuff is so light. Usually, you do have to like. That's soju. He's like soju. You got like, to have soju. You got to like, yeah. drink yeah. like half a bottle. <laughs> Super glass. <laughs> well, you haven't been to Korea. We were talking about this. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are listening, this is part two or maybe part one. I don't know. We we, we just did another podcast. So if you guys are interested in uh, checking out their podcast, I'm on their podcast, Worst Asian Pod podcast, <coughs> and we guilt tripped. 
you to, into having us on your podcast. Yeah. You didn't yeah. get guilt trip. I wanted to do this. This is, this is I'm very excited to have it. Uh, but uh, we were talking before uh, and um, uh, we were also talking about how you, Ben, you like run a club. Or you're like the general manager of the club. <laughs> yeah. You run the club um, or yes. something like that. Yeah, it's close. I run, I pretty much have a secret fighting club. A fight club <laughs> that I run. Um, That's why anyone, I wear shirtless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, anyone can join. Um, to you have to be a, Asian. Yeah, you have you to be Asian though, please. Um, please. It's, it's better if you're Korean because you have that angry gene, the Han. Yes, the Han. Uh, but I'm the general manager at Komodo Rooftop. We're located in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, come by. Mike, I hope you come by. I really would. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. I'll take care of you, man. I've, dude, I've, I love it when Asian guys say, I'm going to take care of you, man. Yeah, man. You know? I'll, because I got they will. You. Yeah, they man. Will. I want, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you properly fucked up. Really? Respectfully. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Mike, Jeez. do you want one of these? I'll drink one. Okay, yeah. fine. This is current milk. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, makgeolli, right? Makgeolli, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. makgeolli. There it's you like go, my Mikey. favorite. Yeah, I do drink. Unfortunately, I actually need to cut, cut back. But here we are drinking. Uh, but... um. Uh, thank you for doing the show. Real quick, uh, we want to do a Patreon shout out. Patreon, if you guys don't know, is the totally. best way to support the podcast. Uh, it's go to patreon.com slash Asian, not Asian pod. We love it. Uh, we um, use the money to produce a show and it's a great community. I'm thinking about, please don't hold me to account for this yet, but I'm thinking about creating a Discord. The reason why I haven't yet is because I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hanging out with some really nice fans the other night, and they were like, Mike, you should have a Discord. And I sat to, and they sat down, and I was like, what is it? They spent 20 minutes explaining what Discord was. Can I stop you for a sec, Mike? Yeah. If you start a Discord, you have to have people moderate that shit, and oh. you can imagine the shit show that might happen, and you have to have another duty on top of your already expanding list of moderating a bunch of, you know, kind of crazy people, right? Okay. Literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Don't know what Discord is. People keep explaining to me, and I'm like, yeah. it's a chat room. Is it it's a chat room? room? It's a chat room. It's like Slack. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, it's just got pull, worse. Don't pull Slack on me, man. Yo, it is like Slack. It's like Slack. It's okay. Slack for like Gen Z, kind of. Yes. What makes it Gen Z? A lot of gamers and like Twitch people and like communities of different, uh, I don't know, like fan bases, fandoms have like a Discord either officially by that creator or they make their own little there, Discord. Is there some sort of is there some sort of feature set that makes it such that it's better for that kind of system? As a person that's never been on the app myself whatsoever, I'm going to say no to that end. So I have Discord, but the problem with it is like it, every time it opens up, I get extremely overwhelmed. I turn it off right away. <laughs> I have like all these chat rooms. They use a lot of hashtags. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. But that I don't know. I still don't understand. I've had it for like what two years since COVID or whatever. Still clueless. I just go on. I start crying and I just turn <laughs> it off. That's all it is. That's your default emoji. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. that's your status. Currently crying. Yes, yes. There you go. I might or might not start a Discord, but you know, it, it, if you, you could come on the Patreon and join the community, it'll be fun. Uh, but we also give you a shout out if you uh, contribute to the. Uh, to the Patreon, we're a little bit behind because we uh, had to do some other episodes, and so this one is like we're finally catching up. Uh, so we've got uh, one today. We've got, um, and and what happens is, is we shout you out, and then we guess we kind of build a little backstory for you because that's what we do. Um, that's part of the service. So we have Carlo Franco. Carlo Franco. Oh, Franco. It kind of rhymes. What kind of like last name is that? Franco. Franco. It's you know, I want to say of the you know Espanol. This guy is Filipino as shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking off. <laughs> this guy is Filipino as fuck. fuck. Are you kidding me? Carlo alone and then Franco. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's Carlo, Carlo not, not Carlos. Carlos. That's the differentiator right there. That's it. Oh, good point. That's why I, that's why I, that I fucked up there. Oh, because you thought it was Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. Carlo. Carlo Franco. Carlo. This guy is a physical therapist. Oh, that's exactly what we need. Because yes. we all right now at our current ages have some kind of body ailment. Yes. Mike, I think you're talking about your knee recently. My knees, I got a knee, I got a, yeah, I got a Ben's got knee. one leg that's longer than the other, but really? I'm not sure how much yeah. physical therapy can solve that part of it. I've got a bad back. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Franco, please, please, we are in need of your physical therapy services. What's wrong with your back? I always come up and I have a bad back in the morning. Yeah, see, this is, this is how you, you know you're old. You're old when you get around with your boys and you just talk about how hurt, <laughs> how hurt you are, like it's a yeah. rap battle. Yeah. You know, you're just like, ah, nah, son, check this out. My lower back is broken. Um, but yeah, Carlo Franco, he is a physical therapist. Uh, he's from New Jersey. Definitely New Jersey, for New sure. New Jersey, for sure. Drives a, what do we think he drives? Uh, what do we think? A, a Honda Fit. Oh, shit. That's no, 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 yeah. no, no. But not one of those old Honda Fits. Not a used one. Oh, he's the, got the newer, newer one? one, which may or may not be a uh, hybrid. 
Okay. But if there is a hybrid, Franco is definitely getting the hybrid version because he's all about saving the world for mm. his future kids. That's really Mike nice. Mike is like spilling the drink I'm, 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 right now. Oh, I got so excited about him, <laughs> about him saving the world. I was like, oh my God, this guy rules. Um, <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh yeah, cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers, cheers We've cheers. never done this. We've never drank on the show. Yeah. Oh, have I? Maybe once. You must have. Maybe once. But usually it's very, you know, we're just doing our thing. We're very Puritan. Um, oh yeah, maybe once. Good stuff. I've done. With, Here's with the thing: me. you have so many guests on your podcast. I'm sure after a while they all blend into each other. We have done not even a quarter of the of your the length, amount of guests now. But I forget who's come on, and I forget what we talk about. So mm. how better for Mike to never forget than those two <laughs> bros from Queens who brought a fucking full spread of banchan to a recording? This is never forget. really really nice. So um, uh, this is is this is great. Oh, real quick, yeah. So. Thank you very much for contributing, even though you had to buy that Honda Fit. I know you, it, that was expensive. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you very much for the money. If you want to get involved, it's uh, patreon.com slash Asian, not Asian pod. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, okay, so let's just let's just jump in here. And by here, I mean this food. What did you bring? This, there's a like, first of all, I think that a lot of our listeners and because of the Korean wave now mm. know a lot about like banchan and yeah. What would you describe? This is it. I wouldn't even cons- consider this because sometimes people say this is like banchan is like Korean appetizers. Mm-hmm. I guess it is. Yeah. But it's also, I, I feel like for, for me, I feel an appetizer suggests that it's not necessary. But my wife is Korean. Mm-hmm. And if it were up to her, she would have banchan, a selection, maybe yeah. not maybe not six things. <laughs> I would say like three things yeah. at every meal. It doesn't matter. Yep. McDonald's. Yes. We're eating Domino's. We're eating steak dinner. <laughs> She'll pull out. If she were, if it were up to her, mm-hmm. she would have banchan every single one. So I, I you know, what, what, what would you, how would you describe? What I know banchan Ben, you're is? Korean and you want to get into this right away. But as the uh, non-Korean Chinese person, I want to try to describe banchan for myself, right? Or for other people that actually don't know, for the one person that don't know, banchan is like unlimited breadsticks when you go to like uh-huh. Olive Garden or like those uh, cheese biscuits. <laughs> oh when you go shit, to Red, Red Lobster. Lobster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. It's that same shit where it's free. It's technically unlimited. Although when you do ask for too much, the um, ajumas kind of like look at you a little oh, weird. Yeah. So. Yeah. It is Aigu. the ultimate version <laughs> of that. <Aigu. laughs> is that what they say? What, they, what does that mean? I go? Yeah, I go just means like, oh. Oh, uh, I had that, Yeah. No, no what are you going to say? You I, say? Had, I had that once because I went to a place and <gasps> I kept ordering rice. And and back in the day, White I rice? Used, just wait to write rice because I could I could like put it away. So I maybe had like 10 bowls. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like around like the seventh one, they were just like. <sighs> I go, yeah. Yeah. They lost money on you for sure. Yeah, but by, by yeah. the 10th one, they were just like, respect. Low key respect because I had eaten so fucking much. It was great. Anyways, yeah. So it's yeah. It, it is like that. Banchan's like the same thing too, where you can ask for like refills once or twice, but when you ask for too much, it, you you feel a bit weird asking for it. Yeah. And I know they're definitely talking about you when they go back there to get refills. Yeah. And some panchan is better than others. Like as yeah, in yeah, like, yeah. and sometimes they're holding the good stuff and they don't want to give it to you. Yes. You know that's another thing too. Do you have yeah. a favorite banchan, Ben? Um, you know the one where it comes in that hot fucking clay pot with the eggs in it. It's just bubbling. Oh, steamed egg? Yeah. Oh, that's probably yeah. My oh, little scallions on yeah, top, yeah, yeah. little oh, sesame. Shit. That's, that's probably my favorite. That's just, it's just like soul food for me. You're like half oh, Korean, wow. Mike. Mm. What's your favorite one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put you on the I spot like, right there. No, no, I like the, I like the white people one. I like uh, the I like, white people one. I like the macaroni salad. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. solid. That's solid. My, my wife is always like, why do you like the macaroni salad? Yeah. And I was like, it's so, and it's like, it, it, it it's not. It feels Korean to me. I don't know why, even yeah. though it's not. It's like sweeter, isn't it? It's sweeter, it's a bit it more is. creamy. Sometimes they put apples in it. I'm not a yes. big apple person. I know. I'll yeah, pick my it wife out. Is the same. Yeah, yeah. I, she hates like, having fruit, like raisins right? and shit in there. Yeah, but that's yeah. a good one. That's solid. I, I like it too because it's like it's it's like oh I knew I know like a fucking. In a GI introduced this. Like, <laughs> Yo. Yeah, like a guy based in Seoul in, oh, in like shit. 1959. Yeah, was like, well, you know what? We got ourselves uh, a little bit of egg. Oh, my <laughs> God. Know? We got ourselves a little bit of and and, 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 and and here we go. It's uh, like the same thing with spam, right? Or like, what's the uh, yeah. Korean army stew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the same thing too, right? Instant spam. noodles, spam, spam. Vienna hilarious. sausages. And yeah. uh, tteokbokki, right? Yeah. And anytime, like, that's all it is. Yeah. Anytime the colonized person can remix the colonizer's food, it gets better. Oh, hell yeah. I agree. You hell know, yeah. uh, uh, bang me sandwiches or whatever yep. the fuck it is. It gets fuck better. Yeah. When we the do. French, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's my favorite one. But you got like a bunch of shit. What, oh, these are rice cakes. Yep. Oh, yep. there you go. See, you know. Uh, technically, I don't know what I bought. So, Ben, why don't you tell oh, us you bought this. this? I bought this. The non-Korean person went to H-Mart. Linky, you're, you're Chinese-American. I'm Chinese-American, yes. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And then Ben, you're uh, Korean. I am you're Korean. Korean. You're Korean as fuck, by the way. Am I? You're so sweaty. You're so Korean. I, I don't think I'm Korean. I feel like I'm like really. The, I feel like I'm the fakest Korean. My Korean sucks. Ben's facial hair uh, throws it off too. Dude, you oh you you run a club. That is so. <laughs> great. You know what you give me, and I don't mean this in the dis, in, in the in the negative way. You no, give please. Me, have you seen beef? Uh, I've seen the, the fucking best. You haven't show. seen beef? Man? I haven't seen it yet. I don't have time, bro. I uh, literally do not have time. He's busy running that club. Okay, fine. But the character is like a crazy Korean. Just who's something, that? right? Isaac. Yes. Who's, yes, that? Yes. who's, uh, who's the actor? David Cho. Let's just say this. You're giving me... There. There is... I know you're from Queens, but you're yeah, giving yeah. me LA Korean vibes. Where uh, it's like, I get that a lot. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a, a dude lot. who's like, yo, come through, bro. You know, like, <laughs> come through. I'll, I'll hook you up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's like, exactly his Half and half, 50% of the time, that dude... Is uh, is going to be able to pull through, yeah. but half the time, complete bullshit. Yo, oh bullshit. man, I feel like you're gonna I, roll. Like I feel so exposed right now. Half the time, <laughs> you, you go to like the quote unquote table that he's he quote unquote got. Oh and yeah, and he's not there, and he's like he's texting you like oh, an he hour dips before the check he, comes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. just like he's like oh yeah. shit, man, I'm a bad dude. You know my uh, my mom called me. I gotta go. You know I'm a bad. And Yo, it's my like, bad, it's dude. Completely Korean vibe. It's so booked right now. Yeah, this uh, crazy man. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry, dude. Hey, you know. Hey, can I? Um, um also my car is fucked up. Can I borrow your car? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is fucking bent to a T. Well, um, he's the kind of guy that will show up late for something. You're outside waiting for him to get into yes. your car. He'll come down late, get into your car, and then say, "Dude, do we have time to go grab a coffee?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, 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 think, I think I learned it that on our way here. That's literally your vibe. <laughs> I'll be like the personal look. Pick up car and you still ask me, do we have time to get time coffee is after just your a concept, right? Oh my like, god, yeah, yeah, you know, what is time, you know, yeah, ultimately you're... speaking. By the way, my favorite banchan is that small little fry. In case you guys do care, it's that fry, the little croaker. Cro- the, oh, the, yeah, the, croaker the, fish, the small little fried one. When it comes oh, out. that one's good. Those are good. That, that's, yo, solid. that's fire. That's fire. That's solid. That's the kind of thing where you can't really go to H Mart and get, I think, because that's like a hot thing. It's the same thing with yeah. the steamed egg, right? Your favorite thing. That's something yeah. where you kind of have to either buy the pre made. Not pre-made, but like the ones where you can make it yourself quickly, or or just make it from scratch yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's it? Do you have like Korean like instant noodles in your in your pantry? Yeah, as well? we got uh, shin ramen. Yeah, we got shin ramen, Ooh. and it's always like a battle between my wife and I because I like uh, a certain style. I like a, another brand of ramen, mm-hmm. you know, that I grew up mm-hmm. eating, and so she's always like, oh. she was like, this is way better, blah blah. Don't what's you know? your brand? It's called. It has a really stupid name. It's called Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my no I fucking can, way. You're you're fucking I'm with serious. Up. Kung Fu. It's called Kung Fu. Spelled like Kung Fu. Yeah, straight up. It's called Kung Fu. Is it Chinese? I guess. <laughs> I hope, I hope I so. I have no fucking idea. But like, it's the one I grew up eating. Uh, and you love it. I get it from uh, you know the H Mart version of California, which is uh, Nine Nine Ranch. Nine Nine Ranch. There's technically a branch in Long Island somewhere. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, here in New York. Yeah, so yeah. that's like what I grew up uh, doing and we found, you know, that's the brand I have and like the Vietnamese grocery store I go to has Kung Fu. Mm. So that's like the one uh, I, I eat. And that's like I want to try favorite. that. I like it a lot. It's, you know, I've never it's, heard it's, of it. Is it spicy? No, it's it's really like the, Umami-ish. It's the it, it's it's the Socratic ideal of ramen in wow. my mind. Yeah. It's Socratic just like, it's, ideal. It's just, it's just, here's ramen. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing, what I feel like Shin ramyun or or um, do you feel like it's it, it's are? hiding behind the spice where the noodle itself, like the texture of the noodle, all, all that jazz isn't as important except for the actual seasoning and the spice of it. Like it's hiding behind that. I think I think that kung fu is. Am I pissing off really people by saying that? No, no, no. no. I, I, but I think I I like kung fu because of the whole thing. You know, the mouth feel, whatever you want to call it. Hey yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're eating now. Okay, we're having. Oh, I'm, I was gonna eat. I was gonna say I'm gonna eat, but yeah, I want to try kung fu. Something about trying other Korean ramen, shin ramen, just I don't want it. It always just has a spot compared to the other ones. Yeah, no, so whatever you grew up right? eating, right? Yeah, but yeah. Oh man, I just just turned into like a asthma. ASMR. ASMR, ASMR. Well, you still always say asthma. That's oh, close enough. Tomato, tomato. Asthma. Asthma. All right, guys. Mm. Sorry for the um, I guess mouth noise. Unless you really are into this. Mm-hmm. You guys were talking. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll keep going. That's good as fuck. Um, yeah. I mean, so uh, I think I think we usually what we do is um. We just ask each other what kind of Asian we were this week. Oh, huh. You know, and yep. I think it's a lot of. Um, I don't know who wants to go. You know? I can go first. Let's go. Because I've had a long it. day. Go for it, bro. I was saving from telling uh, Ben the story in the car on the way over here. So oh, really? Get, so I can get his a uh, real live reaction to this. Oh, excuse me. I'm just trying to clear this uh, kimbap from my mouth. Yeah. I am a uh, 3 a.m. camp out Asian. Oh my god. Okay. 
you think, why am I camping out at 3 a.m. in the morning, in the cold, in the rain on a Saturday morning? Not for some supreme brick drop or like some <laughs> pair of dunks or anything. I was camping out at 3 a.m. to register my four-year-old son for Chinese weekend school. What is that? Chinese weekend school. A weekend school. Like he's learning Chinese on a Saturday. Oh. And I had to camp out to register. Wait, now, you're probably wait, asking... You mean, you mean physically? Yeah, yeah. I, I physically had to camp out in front wait, of the school to, to register. Yeah, not online, not like just go up and sign up. We had to what line out. Yep. So apparently, who's this, we? You or you and your me son? Me and all those crazy other parents that were there with me. What the? F- Yo, what kind of school is did your, this? Did your wife go with you? No, hell no. It was like three a.m. So she was at home with my son. Good. And they're like, you know, they're sleeping. I wake up at two uh, thirty in the morning. I get my ass dressed very quickly. I leave the house. I go line up. I'm I'm thinking to myself the whole time. Oh, by the way. The reason why we're lining up for this particular school is I've heard from my uh, family and people that it's apparently a decent Mandarin Chinese school to begin with, and it is cheap as fuck. Oh, really? Okay. So we're talking like $500 for the entire school year, like 10 months. Oh, wow. And it's every Saturday for three hours. So take any activity. I don't care what you're doing. Three hours every Saturday for 10 months, and it's only $500 something dollars. So it's cheap as fuck. It's like a Black Friday sale. <laughs> it, yo, it oh. is so cheap. It's they're, so cheap. They might they might be making your kid work or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking yo. it's a sweatshop, bro. It's like, yeah, it's like a cult today in in, in 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 Saturday school. Oh, like, we were making sneakers and shit. What yo, the fuck is that? It's like a weird ass cult. Like my son comes back from the first day and he has like five wives. Oh my god! I'm like, dude, who are these ladies? And he's like living in a tent in the in, in the desert or something. Oh my god. So uh, okay. I'll try to make this like semi quick, but follow okay. along. Yeah. You would think that the night before I should have like a light dinner and just you know sleep early, go whatever. I have all you can eat Thai barbecue the night before. Uh, by the way, there was nothing Thai, thai? about it. There yeah, was, I was gonna say, I, was say I never had all you can eat Thai barbecue. There was nothing Thai about it. All I had was uh, kimchi, kaibi, and pork belly. So I just made it a Korean barbecue. So it's just like a Thai barbecue ran by Korea, uh, but it's with. Korean. I think the only thing that that made a Thai was in the dessert section they had a uh, sticky coconut mango Whoa, rice oh really that was like the only the thing that made a tie to me so I, I, so yeah. i'm stuffed <laughs> and, and i go to bed early and i have to wake up at 2 30 and i go to this place and the whole time in the back of my mind i'm thinking no one's this fucking stupid no one's gonna go line up i'm gonna be like the first person in line so i'll just sit in the car yeah and, and it'll be cool i get there there's like 13 other parents no already no way i talked to the lady in, in the in the very beginning i'm like when did you come here she came the day before at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. So she's been there, like, whatever. At that point, she had been there for... Swing a six, diaper. Six, probably. 16 hours and Pissing shit. herself. Oh, my God. What the fuck? So I park. I get out of the car. It's cold. I'm tired. I have a resting bitch face on because I did not expect to actually be camping out at 3 a.m. in the morning. And, uh, yeah, so that's where I was. Uh, eventually, we got our tickets, and we registered at, like, 9 a.m. Uh-huh. So I brought my... Uh, like foldable chair I sat there with my hoodie with so my umbrella still, so you still had to wait there you couldn't, I still had to wait there you didn't just be like here's a ticket and come back later. nobody was there the place was not even open yet that's it, the insane it's part it's literally a Black Friday sale yo it is an insane like Chinese language Black Friday sale damn and I've been up since 2.30am uh, so after all that jazz was done I immediately had to get this great banchan pick up Ben and yeah. come right over here you sh- I wish you came by oh so this was okay so this just happened this literally happened this morning oh my god so I'm a, a, a little bit tired. So you've been tired. already up since like so it's been so it's like two thirty right now. So you've yeah. been up almost or uh, you've been up twelve hours. Twelve already. hours, yeah, yeah. My whole day is like 12, 16 hours. So I'm pretty much done very very soon. Can I say though Damn. you are having you have you you've had so far the most Asian twenty four hours <laughs> I've ever heard. Of. You had Thai <laughs> barbecue, which was not Thai, which was not Thai at you all. You waited no. in line for a, a, a Chinese, Chinese school. Chinese school. Yeah. You did an Asian two Asian American podcasts. I did. And we're oh eating shit. Banchan. And we're eating yo this. This it's might be the good. most Asian 24 hours of my life, Mike. That is actually true. <laughs> Can I say one thing about it? So it's cheap, right? So the Asian in me, the Chinese in me wants to line up, does not mind lining up so I can get the massive savings. Yeah. But I shit you not, all the other parents out there that were lined up were driving Teslas, G-Wagons, of course. BMWs. And I'm thinking to myself, you people don't need, need the savings. Yeah. Me and my 2009 Toyota RAV4, I need the savings. Yeah. Why are you all out here? Hold on here. Is your Toyota RAV4 hybrid? It's not hybrid. Oh, back in, I shit. don't think they okay, had it. Back back you, wow, you are poor. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's broke. He doesn't have the hybrid? <laughs> Yo, God. 2009, there was no hybrid. We didn't care about the so. environment in oh, 2009. Wow. I think on, it still dude. has a cigarette lighter inside. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, how good is your Chinese? Is it Mandarin? You speak Mandarin? Yeah, I speak Mandarin. So uh, the funny thing is, like, prior to me having my son, I never spoke... A, well, I, I spoke, like, very, very 
nominal Mandarin. So I've actually taught myself Mandarin so that I can teach my son Mandarin. But the funny thing is like, you know, kids, they get to this point where they just absorb so much like a sponge. Yeah. So I used to be able to keep up with them. So theoretically, let, let's say I learned first grade Mandarin sure, 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 and sure. then I teach him. And then when he gets older, I learned second grade, right? So I'm always one step ahead of them. But be because, and you'll see this soon in a couple of years, Mike, when your kids become sponges, now it's at the point where he's correcting, let's say my words and my tone. And he's like, dad, and, he, and, then, and then he, the, the little jackass, and I love my son. He goes to my wife and says, Daddy said this thing wrong. It's supposed to be this, but he said it that way. Oh, so he's a snitch now. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah. Some wi like the wire and shit. How, 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 excuse me, how good is your, uh, your wife's, your wife speak Mandarin too? Yeah, so she speaks Mandarin, Cantonese, she reads and writes. Oh, wow. And fluent English. Yeah. She's like all that jazz. She's uh, smart. She's much smarter than me. I wow. speak decent English, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Although I stutter on my words sometimes. I speak a weird dialect of Chinese. It's called Wunso. It's like very, very uh, obscure. If anyone actually listening is Winslowese, please hit me up. I'm just so, interested. So that's the language you speak. That's the language I speak, but okay. that's not very common though. Sure, sure. And I know that in like 20 years when my son gets older, the primary language that if he learns Chinese is going to be Mandarin. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it's not it's not necessary. You know, you didn't grow up speaking Mandarin necessarily. Nope. Yeah, nope. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We have, you know it's it's an interesting thing because you know my wife is Korean. I'm Vietnamese. I don't even know if there's a Vietnamese school in. New York, you know what I'm saying, and then yeah. also like she's, uh, um, I think more likely she will he will end up speaking. My son will end up speaking Korean, mm -hmm. which I would love. I would be fine with that, but it's like it's so hard because you know we're surrounded by hipsters. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we're not gonna like fucking. They're, they're not learning. They're not gonna speak to Korean to each other. Each other. They're gonna That's be like. True. Yeah. They're just gonna be like sitting around talking about like power structures. Yeah, and, and kale. Like that. So it's like, yeah, exactly. And, and hybrid vehicles. <laughs> Would you have to learn a little bit of Korean yourself if you actually chose to have your son learn more Korean? I would if it helped him. You said her Korean is, is on spot on and stuff? Or? No, it's, it's, it's better than my Vietnamese. Okay. But it's not like real good. Okay. Um, but it's like, it's like, you know, she can, she can get through uh, ordering food at a restaurant. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Got you, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, but I think it's important for her and it would be important for me. But it's like, that's like one of those questions I'm like, I can see why it's really important. Like, I would drive my Tesla over and wait <laughs> at two in the morning or wherever the fuck it is. Because, you know, it's like your culture and shit, you know? I would the, uh, the saving part. The saving, <laughs> the part. saving part. That is crazy. Massive uh, yeah, saving. Yeah, $500 for uh, how long? 10 months? For 10 <laughs> months, every Saturday for three hours. That's like that's well, better many, than any gym membership. How, how it's many, actually run by a non for profit. That's actually why it's so cheap. How oh. many kids do they take? They take twenty eight kids. Oh, that's it. So here is the funny part of it. Like the first person was there at five p.m. the day before. I think the twenty seven, twenty eight person probably got there at six a.m. So technically, it's not like sh the first person gets a better seat or gets like better training. Right, you right. Have. You're still in the same fucking class. Right. So she didn't have to come that early, but I guess, I, dude, I don't know. Right, bro. That's why you weren't first, bro. Okay. Yes, that I don't have that that's that mentality. You need no. that mentality. Yeah. Where I'm going to waste my day <laughs> to, <laughs> to do this for my son. I get it. I get it. Gang, do you guys like casinos? Of course you do. You're Asian. You love casinos, or at the very least, you love casino buffets. Point is, um, what fun would a casino be if you could only play the slot machines? That wouldn't be, wouldn't be fun for you at all. You want to be able to access all of the different things in the casino. That's kind of like um, what's happening right now when you use Netflix without ExpressVPN. So the way it works is Netflix has tons of shows, tons of movies, um, but it blocks different content depending on where you are. And so without a VPN, you can only access some of the content. That's kind of crazy, right? So what you can do is you can use ExpressVPN to unblock content, right? So you can tell, uh, uh, you can tell Netflix that you're in another place and all of a sudden uh, you have access to way more content. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I use um, ExpressVPN um, all the time to watch Rick and Morty. You can watch uh, Rick and Morty from uh, Netflix Australia, even if you're in Net Netflix America with ExpressVPN. All you do, open up the app, select the country, so you know, I select uh, Australia, tap one button to connect, and then boom, when you refresh the page, it's there. It's awesome, okay? It's blazing fast, fast internet. You can stream, um, in HD with without any buffering. It's compatible with all your different devices on phones, laptops, smartphones, whatever. Uh, there's 
tons of servers in all these different countries so you can get access to thousands of other shows. So be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash Asian. Don't forget to use my link at expressvpn.com slash Asian to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I think a lot of Asian people can relate to this. The idea of giving all of your time or a lot of your time thinking about other people's needs and wants. We often put other people first, like our family, our parents, our friends, our coworkers, our bosses. And while it's important to spend time on other people because, hey, we all have to, it's just as important to find time to work and support yourself. That's where therapy can come in. Therapy gives you tools so you can find more balance in your life, so you can spend more time supporting others and yourself. I've used therapy in my life. I use it all the time. I've been to a few different kinds of of therapy um, and the therapy, it gives me tools to help me cope, help me understand my feelings and really set boundaries in my personal and professional life. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, so it's flexible and convenient. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can always switch therapists for no extra charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Asian today to get 10% off your first month. Um, well, um, so you get to get a spot. Yes. Okay, yes. yes. So, yes. But yeah, so pretty much he's in. He's in. I did the whole registration thing. I paid my money. I got out. I came to HSmart. I came here. How wow. mad would you have been if you were like the one last person beforehand? They're like, sorry, we're done. We're closed. Yeah, that's got to suck. But you know, like when you get there, I drive and I see how long the line is. I can count the number of people and I know there's 28 spots. So you're like, oh, thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I did not expect that many people at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's yeah. insane. Plus, it's, it's cold today and it was drizzling yeah, this morning. That's what I was going to say. Is it, it's, it's in Flushing. It's in Flushing, yeah. Wow, damn, 28 kids, bro. That's harder than Harvard, I feel like. <laughs> wow. Well, if you had to camp out for Harvard, I would yeah. camp out for my son to go to Harvard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's an easy choice. Really cheap, really cheap Harvard. Yeah. Um, that's great. Um, ben, you want to go next? Uh, yeah, I am uh, the recovering self from a 10K uh, Asian. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're speaking about uh, Jenny with her uh, marathon. Shout out to her. She, Shout she, out to she Jenny. Did, she did a half a marathon, you said? I think it's the half. I think it's the Brooklyn half. Too. God damn. I, I got to say, man, I don't know how, for all you runners out there, I don't know how you guys do it. Like, it's, you guys are sick fucks. It's, <laughs> it's, there's some amount of discipline you have to take for yeah. doing it. Um, yeah. I mean, she trained obviously for like months and stuff. Right? Yeah. Um, it was my first 10K. Um, I didn't get any sleep. I went right after work, so I was pretty <laughs> fucked up already. Oh, my God. I was filled with, like, Hennessy. Um, really? <laughs> I smoked cigarettes. I smoked Newports as well. Actually, I had a, I had a cigarette while we were waiting online. Yo, some people were doing stretches. They were, like, yeah. taking these these gel packs to stay yeah. hydrated and everything. Ben was on the side just having a Newport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was painful. When was this? It was literally last uh, last Saturday, right? Oh shit, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was last you Saturday. You did this just for like for fun or for charity or just yeah. Just so like, we uh, we did it. We're getting sponsored by H Mart. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not. No, no, we're, no, we're no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, we, I did it with Linji. We did it with our friend and stuff. It was a lot of fun. I'm not lying. Um, I was so cranky. It was a little too positive. Everyone's like, oh. in "You can do it," and I was like, yeah, yeah. "Shut the fuck up!" Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But besides that, yeah, um, I like it. It's it's like it's like a Korean 10k. Yeah. Like, you, you have to you have to go clubbing first. Yeah. <laughs> so at midnight, oh, like it starts at midnight. Oh man, and yeah, you yeah. go there and you're like yes. in your button up shirt. Yeah, <laughs> and yes. you're like, okay, you you got to do it. Like the rule is, you got to do at least one shot of henny an hour. Yes, until six in the morning. Pretty much, coach. Exactly. Yeah, and then um and then cigarettes. Uh, Cigarette. You have to have you have to have a half a pack of, of Newport <laughs> from, from from midnight to six a.m. at any time. Yeah, and then uh, and then um, you have to run, and at the very uh, end of the ten k, yeah, you uh, you pay your tab. And they, they, <laughs> pay your tab. <laughs> they have your tab. You have your tab ready. Yes, and they're like. Make sure to pay your time. And then we go to a Korean restaurant, you know? Yeah. And so, bro. Yeah, yeah. Korean barbecue afterwards. Yeah, Korean barbecue after. Korean barbecue after. Yeah. yeah um, I didn't know how hard it was to grab the cup of water and try to, like, <laughs> put it into your mouth. Yeah. I just missed completely. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I actually had to stop. It looked a lot easier on television. But, yeah, yeah it was fun. Uh, hopefully, we'll do another one. But, yeah. The, I don't know uh, if your knees one. can take that because my knees could barely take it. Like, I could do it physically, but there's not a lot of, a lot of uh, cartilage, cartilage left in my knees. <laughs> 
It's just, it's just like bones. That's just, it's just like it's like two bones just like grinding down on each other. Like, yeah. But like that's the part. Like I'm taking all this glucosamine and it's not doing jack shit for me. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, is that some like supplement shit? Yeah, that's like a supplement thing. Weird enough, I used to Dude. work at a pet shop and yeah. I first learned about that because there were dogs that were like aging and we had this glucosamine supplement. Yeah. So it was to help the dogs with the with their bones and their joints and everything. I heard um this is no no Mike I'm not taking dog supplements. Oh, I was yeah. say, yeah. <laughs> Mike's wow. looking at me all weird. No, okay. if you want, if just take. Uh, I heard you can take steroids. Just thank, put, thank just you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> just take illegal drugs. Yes, and it'll be fire as hell. Great advice. Um, uh, so okay, so you did that, and um, that sounds awful. Yes, and, it does. And, yes, uh, chef. Uh, wait, whose idea was it to do this? Uh, third friend. Yeah, it was. Oh, third another friend. asshole friend. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did he go clubbing before too? No, no, he actually was. He fucking trained for this thing. Oh, trained. That's why. He, he got rest. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm not. I can't be mad at him. You, you two are the idiots who decided to do this. Yeah. And not train and smoke a pack of Newports before. You know what it was? Like? I was like, I paid for it, and I was like, I cannot go. It, it's gonna be like I just wasted money. I was like, I have to do this. Right. I have to. Right. But yeah, it was. Uh, no, the no sleeping part was the worst. I think. I think I, was, I definitely reeked of alcohol, so I felt bad for the people next to me. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. But besides that, you know, it was fun. I got that runner's high, right? That's what they call it, the runner's high. Yeah. Dude, you gave up after three miles. Dang. You just walked. The rest of the I, I walked one mile and then I finished after. So I was like, I was like 20 minutes behind. But what the worst part is when you're running, first you're with like a group of people, right? And then I, I started walking. It just got lonelier. I was like, oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is everyone? Yeah, yeah. And then I realized, oh, shit, I got to I gotta, you know, haul ass right now. So I just started running more. So, yeah. I won't even bother. Just, just walk. The whole thing. I was thinking that dude. Just take a nice stroll. I did. Took some pictures. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fed birds. Yeah. You know? Fed birds. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do a little bit of that. It was good uh, sighting too because it was on Governor's Island. Right, right, right. So you saw the Statue of Liberty. You saw the oh, Freedom see, Tower. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Like, why bother running? Who cares? Yeah. No, no one's going to get mad at you for not running the 5 4 to 10K. There you go. How about you, Mike? What kind of Asian were you yeah. this week? I was, I uh, wrote it down here. Um, Let's see here. I was... Oh, Saturdays is for the podcast boys Asian. What okay. the fuck? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You guys are New Yorkers. And so I'm like a transplant, right? I've been here a long time. But uh, I feel like if you're not from New York and don't have like a big network of, you know, family or whatever that can like drag you into staying forever, uh, it's just like a process of elimination, right? It's like constantly you're like eliminating... Like your friend group, I'm taking a picture with a person who's taking a picture. Behind me. <laughs> so, yeah. I was and, gonna say, um, I noticed your eyes movements. So yeah, I'm seeing, I'm like seeing. It. By the way, this I is our first time in this recording booth, and uh, it is stuffy. Yeah, now it it's stuffy, right? Humid, it's humid, and there is zero privacy. By the way, no, no, no. that's what which what I didn't realize. Like how many people pass by? Because it's a, it's like a zoo attraction, right? We're like oh, at yeah. the Bronx Zoo right now. Yeah, um, but worse. So we, uh, <laughs> we yeah, so. It's like a process of like of of who's left, right? And so I, you know, my I've had a lot of friends who came here, and they've all like gone, and some of uh, uh, I, I would say like my like real inner circle of friends mm -hmm. is down to like three or people or something. Oh, like we said. had like we had this other family; they have kids too, and we've known them for like a long time before they had kids, before we had kids. And so that uh, they're like they're British, so like they moved Ooh. back to Britain, England. Oh, okay, fancy. Okay. Yeah, they're fancy. So like they moved back, and that sucks. You know, it's like I don't have. You know, it's hard to like make new guy friends. Yes. You know, one thing that's cool with you guys and your podcast is like it's two of your it's two friends who known each other a long time. So you obviously have that vibe, and you guys have mm -hmm. like all the history and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I moved here, and I don't have. Uh, I didn't bring my network with me, so I had to build yeah. a network, and then that network is getting smaller. Yeah. And uh, again, like with the whole guy friend thing, it's like it's tricky and it's a bummer. And Plus, so, you're a father now, so it's like less opportunities right, to actually go exactly. out because you would rather prioritize right. time with your son. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm at home a lot, um, which which is which, which is I prefer. But at the same time, you know, you do want to have like your network, your crew. Yeah. And uh, I don't have, you know, it, it it really like struck me this week. So I was very excited to, and you and I have been like communicating texts and stuff like that. Oh, we yeah. want to do the show, and I really wanted to. Uh, you know, have you guys on and do your own show because Thank you, it's just fun to um, bullshit. Like with, kick it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not stuffy, like you said, you know, it's just two guys. We'll, we're, we're your boys, bro. You know what I'm saying? See, there you go. We'll go to K-Town. Oh, and I know you're saying I'm half-assing about I'm, when you're going to come. I'll take care of you. I'm going to take care <laughs> of you. you said this you're to gonna, me already? Yo, I have friends that come all the time. Now it's going to be yo, bro, actually, you don't have to come anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, come on by, bro. Yo, I'm I'll not going to lie. Ben uh, transitioned jobs like how I change socks. So, but <laughs> but, the 
But the best thing is like when he transitions from one spot to another, Come on. I get a brand new free dinner Dude, experience you, oh, every single you. time he goes. I, I, I hook it up. Because uh, Ben used to do the job, you know, where he passes food to people. Server. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So Serving, he, okay. managing, captain, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Sushi yeah. places, things of that nature. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nobu at, at some point. Nobu. In the you were Nobu? I was at Nobu. I was at Tao. No uh, shit, Zuma really? Katsu. Yeah, my resume is pretty, you know, pretty Oh, my sad. God. Okay. Yeah. Now, so the, now, best part of, the best part about being Ben's friend is that from time to time when he switches jobs, you're... You get free food, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I hope Ben gets fired, <laughs> <laughs> just so he can find like a new thing. It's like Ben, I'm tired of sushi this entire like. Yeah. It's like yeah, Ben, I'm in the mood for steak. Can Please. you go work at Pure Luger? Pure, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You send you send uh, uh, Ben's boss like a problematic text, you know, from. from oh yeah, ben. yeah. It's like you know. Oh, I can't believe Ben said this. Can you know? You got, you gotta get him out of there. One hundred percent. It's like, oh, Ben doesn't like black people. Oh, yeah, shit. Exactly. Yo, we got to yeah. cancel it. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll be real with you. Like, the club does sound tight, but I'm, like, mm -hmm. way old. So, I'm, I'll wait until you move somewhere more chill, and then I'll take you up on it off. Like a Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'll wait until, you, uh, until, you, until, until you're the manager of the Mandarin school that you... <laughs> That Lingji, uh, I'm, teaching the, I'm teaching fake ass Mandarin and shit. You're, no, you're, you're, you're just the you're just the manager. You're not the teacher. You just oh, come okay. in there. You're like, hey, how's everybody doing? Hey, ni hao, hey, ni hao. How's it going? Shit, hey, shit, uh, can shit, I get shit. you guys anything? A little uh, apple juice or something? Yeah, you, you guys good? You guys straight? You want some? Yeah. What do you get? What do you guys need? Some like you know bu bubble tea? What do you, what do you Yo, guys the, like? No. All right, great. Another crazy part about the school is when we went we went inside to actually register after we got our number tickets from waiting in line. Yeah. There were employees inside mm -hmm. filming the whole process and taking like DSLR pictures so what employees yeah like really? I oh, legit I was imagine, wondering imagine what was going from, on they imagine they're not even from the school it could be a cult <laughs> you know like for, for all I know it really could be a cult damn but for 500 bucks why not yeah, who, 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 cares, who cares yo I, I would ask for the name but I don't want to put it out there because I don't want people to know about it no 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 no, no. Yeah. fuck that shit wow but see that's what it's like cool about you know, uh, the the little, like, kind of uh, thing you guys got in Queens. Because you guys know shit like this, you know? Like, yeah. my sister and, and her husband, like, you know, he's, like, a born and raised San Francisco guy. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's Chinese-American. So, like, he knows that, that shit for San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? The little spot that's on Mott Street or whatever. Yeah. 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 This corner and, like, blah, blah. Like, There's, you know a guy that knows a guy. Exactly. So, yeah. like, both of you guys are like that, I feel. And, like, I wonder... You know, for me, I'm a transplant, so it's like again, you know, it's I've, uh, being here. I feel it's very transient. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. people come in your life, people leave. Yeah. But like for you, for y'all, it's not like that, really, is it? Is, is it like you guys are like yeah, you know your boys and you guys stick and we're pretty you much know, stationed in Flushing. I would say like yeah. I've been in Flushing since I was six years old. Ben was born in Flushing Hospital. Oh yeah. shit! And yeah, born and so, raised. So he legit has not moved much at all. Wow. No. So it, it's one of those things. And then like when I chose to settle down. Well, with my wife and my kid and everything, we purposely chose to be in that Flushing area because I've had family there. I connect with the place, you know, like small side note, my son is going to the same elementary school that I went to as a kid. Oh no shit. Yeah, so nope. it's like this whole vibe and just like, I know what you mean though. Like it's tough not to have that though. Cause I can't imagine if someone just took me and put me on the West coast and said, Hey, right. raise your kid. Be here with your wife. Your circle of friends is like decreasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you said, don't know like, where like the little like cool Mandarin right, spot. Yeah, you know you're, what I'm you're, saying? You're, Yelping everything and like exactly. that's not like no no shit for you right no yeah like Yelp is like a it's like a terrible tool for like really fun <laughs> oh, yo, good shit you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah is she from the West Coast also yeah she's from California too. okay uh, okay would you guys ever like consider just I guess raising your kid out in the West Coast so you could have like that family yeah for thing? sure I mean like you know that like is uh, I think as a transplant maybe not for y'all because y'all are like born and raised but mm -hmm. like for a transplant every single year is like is this the year. Oh wow! Are we out with this. You it's know? becoming more and more frequent. As I, you, as you, know. you know, I think it like it makes a lot more sense, and yeah. uh, you know, we would be closer to family and shit, and we would have uh, our friends. Like we have, you know, more friends there, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we would be, we, we would kind of like, we could like plug into the whole thing, you know, yeah. the whole like, okay, this is the you got to stand in line here in order to get like the really good, yeah, yeah, whatever spot. So what's keeping yeah. you here then? Honest question. This I'm stupid shit. This shit here. You see this shit all over the shit around me? You talking about the banchan or the podcast? The, not the banchan. <laughs> I can get this anywhere. Okay? <laughs> Actually, technically you can because where you live, you said you can't get good yeah. banchan. Oh, so yeah, you're right. I can't get this here. Yeah. But like, but what, not where I live. But, you know, I, they're going to have fucking banchan at Ralph's it's pretty soon. Yo. Okay? Any, <laughs> any, yo, it's not going to be a good banchan then. Yo, hold, hold on here. You know, I'm waiting for, there's, there's probably, bon, there, I'm waiting for the banchan H-Mart Costco collaborative. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, this is, that's when that collab drops, when the Costco. That shit's going to happen for sure. That's okay. the sweet macaroni salad that you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Introduction. Yo. Yeah, exactly. I'm waiting for like the, the, the fucking six foot tall uh, shipping drum of kimchi. Okay. <laughs> that you can the get for, like, and yeah, shit. The $108, you know, but it's, it'll last you like, well, actually, for, cream, for Korean people, it doesn't Do you have a kimchi long fridge at, at home? Does your wife no, have a kimchi no, fridge? No. That. But okay. I mean, but you know, like uh, to your point, like in California, I feel. We have a little more space. We yeah. get the kimchi fridge. You got That's a kimchi true. fridge? Um, we did, and it broke. So we just, I just got another fridge. Because I was like thinking, I was like, we had. I was like, there's no real advantage of a kimchi fridge. I paid like 800 bucks for. What's that the shit. difference? Is, like, does a vent better or something? It's supposed to. There's things where you can like it hides the smell. Okay. Um, and I guess the temperature wise, it's at a perfect temperature that you could do it. Oh, it's not, like, it's not like cold or something. No, not per, really. Per se, it's I like guess. cool, you could say. You know, oh. that's the best way to put so it. So it's like you it, buried it in the ground or whatever. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> elevated a burial ground. That's you, all it is. You live on the fifth floor. Where is this ground that you're talking about, Ben? <laughs> exactly. No, it's just, you know, I just put it in the backyard, you know? Wow. But I was just saying, you know, I feel because of COVID, when COVID hit, that's that really fucked up a lot of shit where, where I had a lot of friends that moved, you know, moved here. And because of COVID, they had to move back home. Oh, yeah, they so went back I, home, yeah. a lot of my friends, I, it's sad thinking like, damn, this is the last time that I didn't know that was going to be my last time with them. Oh, because they know? thought maybe it was a temporary thing. They would come back. Exactly, yeah. After everything like that. Yeah. Where, like, where's back? Where, where is that? Um, what's it? I had some friends from like Connecticut, from Cali. You oh, know, some of them, see, they, they moved here because they wanted to go into acting or, you know, sure. go, their career thing. And then COVID just fucked everything up wow. and they had to move back home. So And now you know, they're not coming back here to restart all that? Yeah. Some of them are Florida, all that. We still, you know, uh, keep in touch. But I totally get what you mean. As yeah. you get older, you have to make a conscious effort of trying to maintain right. those kind of relationships. You know, it's like, <clears throat> so now whenever I meet someone who I'm yeah. like, okay, this is like the vibe I can go for. You know, like uh, he's like a, he's a, there's a, he's an Asian guy and he is like over 35. Yeah. He also has knee problems, <laughs> and like that's the dude, that's um, is Mike talking about us? Yeah, no, that's, like, like, <laughs> that's where I'm like sw I'm, sw I'm changing the numbers, and I'm like you know wh we're a couple of episodes ago we had the uh, we had this amazing uh, therapist on, and we had you know I've had like conversations about mental health and shit, mm -hmm. and just like thinking about. Like if, if you're going through something, like who are the homies you could like text? Right. Where yeah. they're just going to be like, yo, I just need you to listen to some shit yeah, just that so I'm going vent. through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't, I know you don't have any answers and shit, but I just want to like. I just need, a, I just need someone to listen to me. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and we, we could be, you know, uh, drinking makali at the club and doing that. Or yeah. we could just be like chilling at home or whatever, like. Yeah, you know it's uh, it's hard to find those things. So it's great that you mentioned that. Um, as we got older, I always try to ask people like, what is it that you look for in a friend? Right? If you, you know, I used to be in the K Town scene, like heavy. Right? Oh yeah, no, I did. So, that's not a surprise. Any, yeah, any, <laughs> I know. I know. I knew Shocker, right away, the gold chain. Wow, are yeah. you kidding me? All black. Did you, did you get that for like <laughs> five years of <laughs> participation or whatever? That's right. That's right. Wow. And, um, what's it? Participation. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking um, you know, I was like, take away the music. You know the drinking. Can you actually just have like? Can you break bread and just fucking talk? Yeah, exactly. If you can't do that, then I don't think you guys are real friends. It's just more of like an acquaintance or a distraction. Yeah, if you have shit. to be hammered while you spend time with each other, right, and, man. and that's the only way that you can have a good time on both sides. Yeah, man. I would cut those people out of your life. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, if you especially get, when you get older. Like I'm not that old. Mike's like 56 years old. But you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you get to a point where you don't have many years left yeah. in your belt. So yeah. you want to spend yeah. those years you either use a rise thing. with your family or with like people that might matter. You know, like I get what you do. Well, like one one thing that I'm, I'm sort of fascinated with you too is you guys obviously known each other a long time, and then uh, you guys have the podcast now, which you yeah. know that's a lot of work and that's a lot of you know strain on a friendship or a relationship. Yeah. And I guess like. Um, how did you guys become okay i know i don't know i i wonder if people are going to take this in the right way but you guys are i feel different very different yes you know one dude's chinese one dude's korean one mm -hmm. one dude got the dad thing going on one dude is uh, out until six in the morning as his <laughs> as his fucking job my job yeah you know that's your job yeah sure you can do it anyways but it's your yeah. job. <laughs> so it's you like paid to do his hobby yep. you know there like you go. as you you know i'm sure you were uh more similar maybe when you were younger but now that you guys are so different like what is the sort of perception, I guess, where you're like, man, you know, we're still really good friends, even though our, you know, of course you have things in common, but you guys are very different sort of it's, on paper. We grew, grew up like, we grew up like in the same friend circle. So those just yeah. Ben and I and a couple other friends. And we grew up since we were in first grade, second grade. I can't remember at, at this point. And yeah. you, when you grow up through like 
that period of your life together and you have like that common bond no matter where you split after high school i'm excuse me after yeah after high school, high school and everything, yeah, yeah. you yeah. can always come back to that common core so like the core group of friends that we had including ben we're all we live very different lives yeah, yeah one's sure. like a finance tech bro one's like a <laughs> i was gonna say car salesman but he's like, <laughs> he's like a car repair guy for the NYPD yeah. union job. Yeah. We're Republican probably by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that kind of guy. You know, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Every every guy friend group is yeah. like they got the one dude who got two into guns. Yes. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> yes. I, yeah. know, I love Victor, but he's got like six guns now. And he's yes. like, he's fine, he's fine. He's yeah. just he's hell. It's like Victor, know? please turn off Fox News. You can't please, be watching yeah. this shit all cool. day long. Just dude. come to the barbecue and just don't just don't talk to my wife. No, nope. don't mention Tucker Carlson. I get it. You know, it's cool, bro. Right. And then you have like Ben who's doing his like single man child thing and i'm like very <laughs> settled down in, in my life at this sure. point but the yeah. common thing is like you said when you grow up together you've got that common like i don't know how to describe it it's like i can't if i met ben now at this point in our oh, life yeah. i would not be his friend like yeah. straight up, yeah, sure. yeah, straight yeah, up. Yeah, i would yeah, not no. fucking be his friend no because everything about him i hate <laughs> no, like, that is not i'm not exaggerating like the yeah. podcast has shown me the even uh, worst sides of him that yes. I didn't, like, like <laughs> am i trying to say it, it put a strain on our friendship i don't know it's like stockholm syndrome at this point i'm just stuck with what i have you know, yeah. like it, like it is what it is but it's because we have that common upbringing and we all decided that flushing this immediate area w was still our home that yeah. we can always come back together like ben right. at many points in his life had different uh, friend groups right yeah, yeah, yeah his yeah. k-town group yeah yeah, 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 yeah. or like stuff like that it's mm -hmm. like i don't know what the fuck he was doing right but <laughs> every once in a while when i had the barbecue every couple of months he would always come by we would chill and it would just be like normal yeah 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 and that's what always kept us together like i would say the most important thing is proximity oh. it's like legit i'm yeah just being near each other yeah. besides everything else proximity like if ben I, had moved somewhere else for college let's say or whatever even if i saw him like every couple months it wouldn't be the same but because we're in proximity of each other yeah and to your point like you know because you move away for from sure. each other like you just don't have those uh, chances yeah that makes a lot of sense yeah. yeah and it's very simple yeah what do you think ben um I don't know if that uh, makes me feel any good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like saying, like, yo, Ben, if you just, like, live, like, three more blocks away. I would, we would, <laughs> we're just, yeah, we're I'll just keep really, friend you from Facebook. I just keep seeing you at the bakery, yeah. so I'm like, we're friends. Uh, but you know what it is? Like, it's crazy because I can genuinely be myself around Linji and our other, you know, friends and stuff. Yeah. And... I feel very. Uh, I, he always says that I'm. I'm like you know fucking. What you said, brown nosing and shit. You always brown nosing when yeah, you talk about when, me. When I try to give him flowers, I'm like yo like. You give him flowers? All the I, I'm not like no, really. No, you know no, like, like just compliments. giving compliments oh, and shit. Oh, no, oh, like, exactly. I would, that would be, no, I would never give this motherfucker like flower. Hey bro. I don't know. Hey bro. You know. Hey. Yeah. You know. I don't know why. You yeah. Know why peonies and we shit. Had a, we had a whole bunch of these at the club. Yo, th <laughs> yo thanks for the barbecue, bro. Here's a bouquet. Here's a bouquet, bro. No, it's like. um I feel very fortunate. I've made a lot of mistakes. I used to not be a good person back then growing up. Mike's not surprised. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And I I genuinely do feel like I'm very lucky um, that, like, Linji can, like, tolerate my shit. And, and the great thing about Linji, and I think, like, people don't realize, like, you need that friend that just tells you how it is, even oh, if you don't want to hear it. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, look, I hate when... I'm all about being nice and being polite. Yeah. But then there's that part where there's people that are just, like, fake nice. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's like, if Linji tells me, like, yo, dude, like, your fucking breast smells like shit. I'm yeah. like, thank you. You're my bro. Like, you're yeah, supposed yeah. to be my friend and tell me that. Right. If I see, like, yo, dude, you're, you know, there's something in your tooth, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. check your shit. You know what I mean? Like or that's like the tone, whole point. Or, or like tone it down a bit for a certain yeah. situation. Like, you know what oh, I mean? I that's see, what yeah. it is. It's like, yo, like, like I know genuinely he has the best interest for me. And he, I like, he, do, he doesn't want anything from me. I don't want anything from him. Mm. It's just, you know, like, hey, like, just thank you for being in my life. Sorry, uh, I give you, <laughs> I'm sorry, I give you fucking aneurysms. Yo. But, you know, like, to, that's. To anyone out there, don't start a business. Like they always say, don't start a business with a friend. Yeah. That's 100% <laughs> fucking true. Oh, okay. 100% fucking true. Yeah. The only reason this works with me and Ben is because I went into it knowing that I'm going to do 99% of the work. That's, That's how another it is. thing. And yes. that Ben was going to be as unreliable as in regular life. That's so my is. expectations were already at the floor. Like, Linji is the Toyota. I am the, the fucking Range Rover. Yeah. I will break down <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. every time. I will fail yeah, you. I yeah. will, it's expensive. Yeah. Linji will just run. You, he, he's like a fucking Toyota Camry. Yeah. Just doesn't need an oil change. I may be leaking in some places, but I'm still running. Though. He's still got all still his running. tires. Yeah, he yeah. still got it. So 
Yeah, Bob. I love I, that. I love the uh, I love the analogy also because I, I you know, it, like the everybody wants the uh, the Range Rover. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, you know, and it's real flashy, but it's always breaking down. Yeah, so man. It's, yeah. It's, it's just not gonna work. Yeah. But like you know, I mean, you guys have had the podcast for a long time, so I mean, sure. long enough. Long enough. Like now. most, like you know, most podcasts, it, it's just like about showing up. Right, it's, it is. There's no other every shit. single week. Yeah. Yo, Mike, that's yo. <laughs> I just got the you oh, know like God. the anime the, the sweat anime drop. Sweat. Oh, nani? The anime sweat drop. Oh, nani? <laughs> <laughs> like I have that right now. Uh-huh. I just looked at. Him. That's legit. What I tell Ben, just, just show fucking up. show up. Uh, you know the movie? What's that shit called? A Star Is Born. Yeah. yeah. Lindsay is like Lindsay is Bradley Cooper. He directed it. He acts in it. He fucking even learned the instrument. Like that's Lindsay. I am Lady Gaga. I just show up. And just do, do you know, just do my thing, but he's and then disappear, and then I'll find you later again. <laughs> yeah, oh he has no idea. Wow. So, hey, yeah, you know it's working, man. So, um, yeah, the podcast again is worst Asian pod. Yes, it yes. is a podcast. Is it? Is it like? Are you saying you're the worst Asians? Are you saying this podcast is the worst of the Asians? You know, I want to give you like a good corporate answer for that. But yeah. When we first started, I was like, okay, what what yeah. podcast name do we need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. SEO purposes, I need Asian and <laughs> podcast, right? So the, damn. <laughs> Two words right there. Asian and podcast. You gotta yeah, get yeah, that yeah, in yeah, there yeah, for yeah. that search engine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know what the fuck to put on this. Let's just let's just roll with worst yeah. and just see how that goes. It became like an inside joke, but yeah. at this point, like it's kind of like fitting. It's catchy. It's catchy and because people when people hear it, they usually don't forget about it. And then like it kind of just gives you low expectations of it. Yeah. Right. So whenever if things don't go right, we can always default to saying that. And you know, like sometimes mm. here's the thing, right? You know why I love your podcast, Mike, as opposed to like some of these other podcasts? Because you're just not a regular dude. You're not yeah. like some person at the Met Gala. You know, like oh, you're I not see. like Hollywood yeah. Asian, right? No, like, like you're funny, but you're not in like that crazy circle. And I wish one day that you, sure, you know, like, yeah, that I'm better than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still like a regular dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like that's what I always say. Like, if you weren't funny, Mike, because I've gone to you know your shows and everything, I would not be here. Yeah, so yeah. like being a regular dude, that's what that's the vibe I'm trying to give out. So like sometimes when you keep the expectations low and just people get a little bit more from it and they just realize that like we're just two dudes from Queens. We're loud. Boom. We're <laughs> obnoxious sometimes, but that's like the New York vibe, right? Because as a New Yorker, you could be helping some old lady across the street, but at the same time, that's a taxi honking on you. So you're cursing him off yeah, while yeah, you're helping yeah, yeah. the lady across the street, right? That's love the it. New York City vibe. I love it, bro. And that's yeah. the vibe that I think we give off because... <coughs> I hope so. I don't think I'm a jackass. Oh, you can like, be an asshole, bro. Okay, that, that's, you, that's different. That's yo. different. Like... That's different. At, at my core, I don't oh, think I am. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, you're 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 generally a good guy. So like, yeah. that's the vibe yes. that we try to give off. And yeah, you're not pretentious, man. Like when I first met you too, I was like, oh yeah, I like your energy, man. You're, you're a good guy, bro. You chill as fuck. I'm chill, you know? dog. I'm yeah. chill. That's me. You know, I just uh, I don't got time or energy to do anything else. So, <laughs> uh, you know what? I uh, we want to stop or end the the podcast with a game we're gonna play. Okay? Yeah, okay. we we love doing this when. Uh, we always pop off a little bit when wherever we talk East Coast versus West Coast. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay. So we're going to have a little discussion about who wh- whose version of this thing is better, East Coast or West Coast. Okay. Fuck go yeah. for it. Okay. Mike is West Coast, I assume, and Ben and I are East Coast. Yeah. Gang, gang, son. All right, fine. Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> But I do want this to be like an a, fa- a fair assessment. Everybody's got to assess. Not it's not just like it's because I'm on the West Coast. I think it's better because I think okay. it depends. So let's see. Sure. Let's start with let's start with one. Uh, which okay? Who has a better Chinatown? Oh, get the oh. fuck out of here! West it's Coast or East Coast? East Coast for sure. Oh I've, shit! I've, I've been to San Francisco. I've been to L.A. You guys might have the best K Town. I'm not gonna oh, like say anything. Yeah. But the best wow. Chinatown. That hurt. Like there are a number of Chinatowns. All right. Everyone shut up. I'm talking right now. <laughs> yeah, he's getting so heated. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I've never yo. seen you so heated, bro. I know, fuck. New York has a diverse group of Chinatown. So ah. when most people think of Chinatown, they think of Manhattan Chinatown. Yeah, Manhattan Chinatown. I love that place, but the Which best is where we China- are right now. Yeah. The best Chinatown in New York City, and then if you want to say New York City has the best Chinatown, so by default, it's the best Chinatown in all of America is Flushing, Queens, New York. Yo. And I know that sounds fucking biased because I'm from Flushing. Yeah. But I've seen the evolution of it. Like right. uh, yep. cuisine, the people and everything, the vibe that's going for. The hot stuff is happening in Flushing, Queens. Yo, uh, you know what's crazy too? Before if on Google Maps and shit, it used to just say, you know, the areas. Now they specifically call it like Chinatown and Koreatown. Yo, when we grew yeah. up. I didn't know that. I just Flushing, saw that shit. We never thought of Flushing as a Chinatown. Chinatown, Korea, no. When we, ever, we said Chinatown, like... 
growing up, we were talking about Manhattan Chinatown. Exactly. Oh. Where we are Canal right Street. Now. Yeah, Canal Street, all but that like, good shit. Yep. Nowadays, you've got Chinatown 8th Avenue in Brooklyn. you got Chinatown in Flushing. Right, 8th Chinatown. Avenue, which yeah, is exactly. also a great Chinatown. Parts yeah. of Bensonhurst, too. Bensonhurst is, like, Hurst is exactly. a huge... Yeah. Yeah. Elmhurst as well. Yeah, Elmhurst right. could do There's that, too. There's been people, I think, in Bensonhurst as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But by far, this is not even like... It's not a question. East Coast, East Coast, East Coast. I mean, I think I'm... I want to... Of course, I represent Cal, California, but I mean, when I get off at that at that stop, and I'm like, there's something, you, you know, in the movies where like uh, like the, the the country bumpkin gets off of the bus <laughs> and is like, oh my god, golly, this, look at this place, this place is amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's like when I get out of, uh, and I'm, I know, I know, I know Asian shit. When I get off of the uh, out of the seven stop where I take an Uber or whatever, and I get to Flushing, it's like that. I'm like. Holy shit! Yeah. Every single corner, every single nook, yeah. yep. there's like all the shit, and it's it's like you said. What's cool is like it's very diverse. Like there's all kinds of shit. Yeah, it's not just like it's all wonton noodle shops. It's yeah. all whatever like dim sum uh, spots. Or dim something. sum spots. Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's every single kind. Like even every boba sp- space uh, uh, spot is a different thing, and there's like forty of them, yeah. and so somehow many. they all survive, and they're all exactly. somehow different. Exactly. How the fuck does that happen? I know. That's uh, that's evolution, maybe. It's yeah. crazy. Back then, I remember growing up, it was it was heavily Italian, Greek, Polish. Yeah. We used to have so many diners back then. Remember yep. oh. pizzerias? I remember like vividly all those. R.I.P. to the diners, man. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, well, man. but then, but then you think, what about K Town? We're gonna do that. Wait, who has a better K Town? Uh, East Coast you, or West Coast? I can't say this because I'm Chinese. Right, no, but, uh, no, you 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 nailed it on the head. I'm not lying. <laughs> I've been to both. I like yeah. Cali's K Town is pretty lit. Yeah. But I'm gonna say East Coast only because I run that shit. Oh, so if you go with go. me, yeah, if you want me to beg, I'll oh, hook you up. Yeah, I'll hook you up. <laughs> I'll hook you up, bro. Yeah, I got you, I'll, I'll, my guy. Yo. I'll take care of you, my guy. Yo. Can we give points for New York K Town? It's literally one block, so technically you don't need to that. That's a huge drive yeah. around anywhere. If you go that to the West fire. Coast, you do have to drive yeah. around. I, I, what I like about the K Town in LA though is mm. it's, it's like, it's like a vibe. It's not just like we took K Town, we took Korea and put it yeah. in LA. You know, it's like, it's like. You you get the I, you get the sense like oh this you know they, there's they, like an energy about there's it. an energy about it like there's an like, aura it should be like a movie you know what I'm saying exactly. there's a lot of yeah. shit. it it's feels like you cool. are the main character of exactly. your own movie yeah this that like, is the thing that weather hits cool. different in Cali though that's, that's the thing bro. too I gotta say you you want to go there and you like wanna like become a criminal you know? yeah <laughs> you want, you're like yeah. yo I got some schemes now yeah you know? yeah you're like Ooh, where's the after party at yeah it's where's like, the after party yo I got yeah. a I got a whole I got a guy who got a whole bunch of refrigerators I gotta sell <laughs> kimchi, you know fridges, kimchi fridges kimchi fridges I, so, I got a whole bunch I got like 20 kimchi fridges yeah, yo, bro. yo we get into this kimchi fridge game son yeah yeah and yeah and then afterwards technically gonna, it's a regular fridge just like right. turn to the yeah, side that's yeah, all it is bro yo it's a refrigerator just fell down bro that's all it is bro that's what it is gang gang alright who has I like this game how about who has this is this is a fun one who who had? We only have time for one more. So oh. who has better? Well, we'll do two. Okay, who has? We'll just do one. Okay, we have who has? <laughs> who has? A, who has? Who has a better podcast scene? You think? Oh fuck! Because there's, I feel there's oh, East Coast podcast and there's West oh, Coast podcast. Yo, is, uh, okay, okay. We talked about this briefly when you oh. did our episode about uh, one hour ago. The the West Coast scene has a lot of Gen Z Asian yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, So it's a lot of, like the young crowd, like like we talked about talking about sex, talking about dating, <laughs> all that jazz. I think uh, they're popping off, man. You know, uh, they call us Bruce. That's technically on the West Coast Asian boss girls. It's technically on oh, the West yeah, Coast. Oh yeah, they're so, Asian boss girls. They got Asian boss girls. Too. So like they're pretty, they're pretty yeah, legit. Yeah, they're, man. they're connected to like Wong Fu and shit. They're all like in her. Right. I like I like these questions. So man. I like these questions. This is a good so one. So they man. technically are like Fuck. a good basketball team where the team has spent all their money on like two top players. They're the Suns. They're and the they're fucking just, Phoenix Suns, bro. Yes, and they're just filling up the rest of the roster with whatever they can buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, G players that might have a lot of talent, those stuff like that. Yeah, like a fucking thirty-eight year old like all veteran <sighs> shit. I mean. Just yeah, because this is, good, uh, this, is, this is a good question. Mike is here good on the question. East Coast. Yeah, for, I was gonna say for you, now. You are now. you are a for big now. part of it, <laughs> guys. If you want to keep Mike on the East Coast, subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, give him yeah, some yeah, more yeah, money. Yeah, give yeah. him more incentives. Get him some p- fucking Korean food ASAP, please. Yeah. Uh, the, okay. To be not biased, I would no, say that. they probably. <laughs> <laughs> The West Coast probably has a better mix of like legacy Asian podcasts. Ooh. Oh, legacy! Ooh. Whoa, good word. Oh. Wow! All right, and my goal is hitting, huh? And then like that new vibe scene, because I don't think a lot of the Gen Z uh, Asian podcasts that are popping off are based on the East Coast. None that I can think of, right? 
I think it's mm. mainly on the West Coast. So they have that good old gen, new gen kind of thing. So wow. I'm going to give it up for them, even though Mike and I, the two best Asian podcasts on the East Coast are based out of New York. <laughs> That's right. Gang, gang, son. I know. I, I wonder if there's like other, I feel like we need to get like the, our Asian homies like in Philly to like drop some podcasts. Word. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah like, some Atlanta shit. Yeah, you know? there you go. Like, yeah. you know, there's like, there's some Asian Asian, people yo, Asians in Miami, hopefully. You know, you know, give us some of the Asian, you know, Miami flavor, yo. Yeah, we, you know where I was? I was visiting my friend and I didn't realize this, but like there's a fuck ton of Asian people outside of DC. Oh yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, there's so many. Yeah, Maryland, especially too, the DMZ. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and yeah. Then there's so many like H Marts there. And, uh, <laughs> that's how you know. That's yeah, how you know. know. That's how you know, bro. And I was like, yo, we're you know, we need the DC Asians. We need those drop uh, Baltimore, podcasts. you know, those B more Asians, you know what I'm saying? Baltimore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, aside from being like a real journalist or like young <laughs> and you don't care about putting yourself online, I feel like the other Asian podcast scene is just a lot of co- uh, comedians like yourself. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there is rarely, I mean, like, You've hit the pinnacle, right? Because you've had like <laughs> Randall Park on the podcast, Margaret Cho, uh, Margaret Cho Michelle yeah. Zahner. You've had like the Worst pinnacle. Asian. And yeah. now yeah. you've uh, scrubbed <laughs> the bottom of the barrel. And now we're here. Yeah, he's right. like, but Damn. like, you don't see like many 36 year old stay at home dads and like 36 year old man childs like doing podcasts. Because you, you kind of need oh, like yeah. a background. Like, yeah, it's different. something. That's the one thing I'm very proud of us about. That, that I think we, just we do up stick a mic. out. Yeah. That's fun. That is fun. Yeah, it just feels like the fucking like back then in the nineties when it was like fucking like Puff Daddy <laughs> against like remember in fucking Snoop Dogg and Shug Knight and all yeah. that shit the East Coast, East Coast and West Coast, West Coast like hip hop battle. We're doing it. Someone's gonna get shot, bro. That is scary, cool, bro. Cool, man. You know what? We love our West yeah, Coast. Yeah, we love uh, you guys. West Coast podcast. Give us a little bit West Coast for that. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna have to uh, cut off there. But that was that was uh, the the East Coast West Coast. I want to know what other people like other things we can we can talk about East Coast West Coast. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other one I had was street racing scene, but I don't know anything about street racing. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> good oh, thing dude, you didn't ask I, that question. I love I love running my red lights yeah I don't, I don't know. that's not street racing at all that's just, <laughs> I don't know that's just low key crime <laughs> um, well thank you very much for coming on the show this is a lot of fun thank you thanks for, for having food. us Mike yeah, this, yes yes uh, where can our fans find you man you can find us on all the social medias at worst Asian pod every single mm-hmm. thing because nobody wants to be called worst Asian anything on the internet so mm-hmm. Instagram uh, TikTok every single thing worst Asian pod it's great just to keep everything not light and easy uh, you can find us on Spotify and Apple if you want to listen to podcasts. Search Worst Asian Podcast. We're starting to do like full video now as well. So if you want to see our faces or uh, our ugly, bodies, our bodies, even, only fans. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, oh, just kidding. Find us on all the platforms. All right, dude. Um, and you can find uh, the us, of course, on Instagram at uh, Asian on Asian Pod. You can find me on there. Nice pants, bro. Please check out mm-hmm. our uh, Hack City Stand Up Show. It's every second Friday. And of course, we have our dating show. It's called Real Asian Ships. Mm. And it's uh, June 1st. It's, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Otherwise, you know what? Let's keep this East Coast, West Coast beef on wrap, okay? <laughs> All right. We love you Just guys. Just peace. Yeah, man. Bye. Bye.